G'day fellas and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we've got a battle on airfield and the uh, T-43 again and again we've also with Sabre from RPS um, on the Asian server again today and uh, we're going to show you some, uh, a good example of uh, very well timed teamwork and uh, manoeuvres on the airfield map. So um, what shall I talk about now? Well the airfield map there's a our clan leader in Pebicac, um, he believes that you shouldn't uh, push um, on the uh, hill in the E6 quadrant and that sort of area. So sort of stay there and wait till um, pretty much the enemy, enemy um, pushes into you and then you just uh, ambush them. And uh, you'll probably see a bit of that in this battle, although I think we do also take the fight to them as well. So there is there's a time place for everything, as there always is. So um, Sabre's already up, up there with his uh, Comet, which is a fair bit quicker than the uh, T-43. I also went the long way, which didn't help. And he's got to get some early spots, which is uh, always good. Um, accompanying us, we have an IY Experimental, a T-34. And we also have an IS going the low road down below, which is probably not the most optimal thing to do, but um, whatever you need to do, just do. Looking at this, it looks like the OI Experimental has the crappy uh, gun, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know the OI Experimental that well. I'm getting my little aggressive area where I can uh, get some early shots, hopefully. Same as already got his first kill, taking out the um, Panzer IV there. And uh, now a lot of it is just the waiting game. We have an OI here. We also have a Cromwell. I'm going to go for a shot here, although I miss. I'm trying to use auto aim. I probably should stop using it. It's a bit of a bad habit I've developed in recent months. Although, due to ping, sometimes you need to use auto aim when sticking out. And you need to just sort of time your shots rather than worry about um, aiming. So. Not doing too bad here, neither of us are taking any damage, although neither of us have really done much apart from the one kill. This uh, Cromwell here is uh, going to be a bit annoying if he's allowed to stay there for much longer, so we need to get him out of there somehow. We pop a shot into him, nice uh, nice high roll for 192. And uh, here comes the OI, he gets hit um, by artillery, which is perfect for us. Hop another round, but miss into the um, the Cromwell. We have a damaged gun now, although at the moment, because we're at close range, that's not a big deal. Saber has also killed the OI, which is uh, really good. We need that thing dead. So he's got the only two kills on the team at the moment. Just sort of jockeying for positions. Luckily here, here where I am and Sabre is, we're both um, in artillery cover. So we should be okay. Try, try, try to take a shot at the Comet in the distance, but uh, miss due to our damaged gun. There's a Churchill over there, although we aren't able to get a shot at him. He seems to be sort of sitting at the back, which is not ideal, as you would know, if you played this game much. That sounded more arrogant than it meant to be, but it uh, wasn't meant to be at all. And uh, try to take a shot at that Cromwell on the hill, but uh, it's not enough for him to see. Sabre's getting into it though, so his third kill already. He's now working on his fourth. Now we're just going to go back here, see what we can um, do over here. We're currently losing this game at the moment, 4-8, which is uh, not ideal. We go up here, this is one of my normal favourite spots to hang out when I'm on the building on the other side of the field because you can get some nice shots here. Now we've noticed that the Churchill's there. And we know we can take him because he's a um, fairly soft target and lots of juicy hit points that we can uh, farm for a W and 8 and whatnot. First shot goes into the dirt, which, yes, again, damage gun. Pop a shot into him. Get around and ram him for the kill. We take 41 damage to his 65. Now, I haven't got a lot of damage just yet. I do know there is a tier 7 heavy um, sitting around here. And there he is. I'm going to retreat around here. This is where the teamwork part is. I've told Sabre, look, I've, I'm coming around.
then OI Experimental comes now. Now the teamwork is here. I just push into this OI Experimental, taking any hits that he gives me, and Sabre wheels down the FE201 A45. And I finish off the OI Experimental. And now the FE is, is uh, running away or withdrawing from Sabre, but now. What I do is I tell Sabre to keep pushing it on him and I am going to come round and finish off the FV. Now my first shot misses or bounces. I pop around to the side and someone finishes him off. Now we also have an SU-85. Now I could pull back and shoot him if I wanted to. Although, as you do, I don't think, I don't know if I remember. I do. Yes, it looks like I am going to go around and start shooting from there. So again, Sabre and I will pick apart this guy, slowly but surely. I'll let Sabre finish him off for his fourth kill. Although realising this, I should try and, I've said I should try and get a kill as well. He actually hit, um, our arty, the um, M44 actually hit Sabre and he apologised, which is very nice of him. This is just a tip for you artillery players, when there's an ally near an enemy tank, do not take the shot, even if you think he's going to die. So, I'm now going artillery hunting, uh, I have repaired my gun now that I don't, now I know that I don't need my um, repair kit, and uh, right now we're just sort of waiting for something to pop up, there's the um, GW Panther, and he just misses, misses us. I finish off the GW Panther, and now I've got my third kill, which means we have Brothers in Arms if uh, Sabre survives. Sabre playing very cautiously now, since he is now on the um, lowest hit points out of the two of us. I've told him to hang back, so I can just do what I need to do. I miss with my round. If he 3 or 4 hits us for 100 and something damage. Kill the um, M41 HMC. And now I've just got to wait for the FV to stop shooting at me. So I try and become spotted. There's the T67. Unfortunately, Sabre dies. Now, I could call Sabre a noob on my YouTube channel, but he already knows he is one, so oh well. It doesn't matter. Next time. So I decide since we aren't going to get, um, part of Sabre's profanity, and now I've decided I'm going to rush the FE-304 and the T-67, and he, funnily enough, bounces, pops around to me, and I finish him off, and then the Achilles finishes off the FE-304. So there you go, there's a, um, a win for us and Sabre, Sabre through some teamwork managed to bring the game back from a um, almost certain defeat to a uh, victory. So let's take a look at the post game stats. And the game was obviously a victory with a first class mastery. Uh, myself I uh, achieved the hand of God, the duelist, fighter and fire for effect ribbons and also earned myself a high calibre. Um, Go to the team scores, uh, shows that me and Sable were both top of the team with 2k damage respectively and 9 kills between us. He also retrieved the Fife of Head Bruiser and Fighter Medal, which is uh, very good there, Sable. We also um, shows how our team did fairly averagely, looking at uh, some of our heavy tanks and medium tanks only doing sub damage. The IS only giving off 2 shots. Looking like I'd say two shots or so, should be around 800 damage, he got two off, so he's probably got one low roll or something like that. Um, yeah, as on the other team, they did fairly average as well, which is a bit sad for them, so um, it's still not a hollow victory, it's still both of us uh, played very well and um, took down our enemies very effectively. So, um, going to the detailed report, uh, we fired 23 shots, of which 14 hits, which is uh, a little bit average, and 13 penetrates, so only one failed to penetrate there. 2,116 damage, which is uh, very nice. Uh, we received 6 hits, 5 of which penetrated and 1 bounced, and uh, hits received 5, so that's artillery hitting us. 
We blocked one fifteen damage, which is battle rule really. Um spawned six enemy vehicles and damage seven and killed five of those seven. And we got some spotting damage there, five hundred and sixty seven. Travelled three kilometers and uh yeah, the uh game lasted seven minutes and fifty four seconds. Out of that we uh earned two hundred two thousand uh twenty eight thousand six hundred and eighty eight credits, of which we made a profit of sixteen eight hundred and sixteen credits and we walked away with a nice double there with 2,261 XP with uh, 110 for free XP. So thanks for watching this uh, video guys. Um, if you like the video please leave a like and a comment. Um, really helps my channel out and I want to hear some also I'll read some uh, comments of uh, what you liked about the video, what you didn't like. What do you think I could improve on? I'd love to hear all of that. So if you can give me that, that would be amazing. Um, so thank you again. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.